So in this video, I want to apply gravity to our character. So um, when we run it right now, he's just sitting on the ground. And since we can't jump yet, what I'm going to do is just change the character's spawn location so it's up at the top of the screen. And that way, once we write the code for gravity, we can watch and see how it falls. So I'm going to go to my setup section here, and I'm just going to change the character's starting Y coordinate to zero. Okay, and now we have him up at the top of the screen. So when we add code, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see him fall for a little while in this window. Um, so I'm going to go up to the hero class. And now that we're going to have um, vertical movement as well, I'm going to add a new attribute. And it'll be self.vy. And initially, when the game starts, the player won't be moving. So we'll set the attribute to zero, or we'll set it to zero. And I'm going to go down here. Um, and I'm going to add another function in here, which is def apply gravity. And we'll experiment and see what happens, what we can do. So um, what I want to do in my apply of gravity function is just modify the y velocity. So I'm just going to say self dot vy is equal to, and I'm going to set it to five. Um, really just guessing numbers here. We'll see what it looks like. And then I can go into the move and check platform section. And this is all the code to handle the horizontal movement. So tab back even with the, um, you know, there's one tab level into the function. And I'm going to say self.rect.y plus equals self.vy. So here we're just changing the velocity, but we'll actually do the coordinate changing in the move and check platform section. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to worry about checking the platform just yet. We're just going to worry about the motion. And so let's, um, oh, and then we got to go to our update function. And um, at the start of every frame, we'll just say self.apply gravity. All right, so this, this will call the apply gravity function. It'll change the velocity. And when we move and check platforms, we should be able to watch the character fall. So let's run it and see what it looks like. Okay, um, so what you may have noticed, and I'll run it one more time, is it doesn't look natural, all right? Because this is not how things fall. Things don't fall at a constant speed like that. Um, what they should be doing as they go down is accelerating, all right? That's why um, I could safely jump off my desk right here and be fine because I wouldn't be going very fast when I hit the ground, but I certainly wouldn't jump off the roof, okay? That would hurt. Um, so that's unnatural velocity. So let's look at something else here. So I'm going to go to the NASA website here. And what you see is some equations about gravity. But, um, you know, I think we probably all have come across this figure that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And, you know, what that means is that you know, we can track the velocity of an object after, you know, as how it changes as time passes. So like, you know, when you first, the, you know, the instant you let go of something, right, zero seconds have passed, it is not moving, um, but it is accelerating. And after one second has passed, right, the um, velocity is going to be 9.8 meters per second. And then after two seconds have passed, the velocity is going to be 19.6 meters per second. And then after three seconds, it's going even faster. So it's 29.4 meters per second and so on. And you can see that each time you go, you know, each time a second passes, the velocity has increased by 9.8 meters per second, right? That's what's happening here. And you can also see, you know, if you track the distance, um, in the first second, it only moved about five meters whereas after two seconds it's almost 20 meters it's moved almost 20 meters so in that second second it moved about 15 meters and in the third second um it moved about 25 meters then it moved about 35 meters okay then it moves about 45 meters so you can see that you know the distance traveled in each second is different as well so um so what we want to do is incorporate some kind of um, acceleration due to gravity, you know, that follows this model. And you can see it's just going to be some distance over some unit of time squared. Now, 
in our game, we don't really have meters. What we have are pixels. And um, a convenient time hook we have is just frames because we have 60 frames per second. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to make, or I'm going to go down to my setup area. And I'm going to add a section for some physics constants. Physics settings. And the first one I'm going to make is just going to be gravity. And I'm just going to set it to 1.0 for now. Again, this is a guess, sort of a number. You know, we'll just see what it looks like, and we can adjust this if necessary. And so what I'm going to do is change my apply gravity section. Um, and instead of setting it to, um, now we could do this, we could say gravity and, you know, watch, and it's following at one, one pixel per frame rate, but I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna say v, the VY, and I'm gonna change that to plus equals gravity. And so what will happen is the velocity starts out at zero and on the first frame or after the first frame we'll add the gravity which is one to the velocity and so the velocity will be one and on the next frame we'll add the gravity again so the velocity will become two and on the next frame we'll add the velocity again so the or we'll add the gravity again so the velocity becomes three and then the velocity becomes four um, so every successive frame our character should fall a little bit further and let's see if this looks natural and that was a little bit quick, but you could, I think you could see it accelerating. So if we just, you know, we could play around with the, these numbers here. I'm going to try 7.5 maybe. And, you know, it looks pretty good. Okay, maybe I can slow it down a little bit more so we can see it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, right, let's, let's see. Okay, and so that's too slow. So I'm going to go back to, I don't know. Too slow. I like that. Okay, so we'll go with, we'll go with 0.5 for the gravity. All right, so now, now let's go deal with having, not having him fall through the platform at the bottom of the screen. And so what I'm going to do is get into my hero in the move and check blocks. And a lot of this is going to be real similar. So what I'm going to, you know, we, this is where we handle the stuff in the X direction. And we basically have to do the exact same thing in the Y direction. So um, now keep in mind that um, this is, you know, once this is where we resolve any collisions in the X direction. And after we resolve collisions in the X direction, we might not be colliding with anything anymore or colliding with a different, we might be colliding with different blocks. So what I'm going to do is get the hit list again. And then I'm going to do, you know, this same code basically, but I'm going to say for hit in hits. And this time I want to check to see if I'm falling down. So <clears throat> I'll say if self.vy is greater than zero, this means my character is going down, then I'm just going to say self.rect.bottom is equal to um, hit.rect.top. So we'll set the bottom of my character to the top of the block that I hit. And let's watch what happens here. Looks pretty good. And then that's something weird happened. Okay, you watch the guy just blip away. Well, let me show you what happened here. Um, when the character is falling, Right, is accelerating, 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 and it gets here. And remember, gravity is still getting applied, even though the character is getting adjusted. And so, you know, he may be going down 20 or 30 pixels, but he's getting nudged back up. Um, but what's going to happen is these blocks are 64 pixels high, and eventually this character's velocity gets larger than 64. So from one frame to the next, he ends up moving um, below the platform and therefore no collision was detected and the character just keeps, right, just keeps falling. So we have something else to do in our game, which is, you know, once we've detected a hit, um, we have to say, we have to set velocity 
to zero. Okay, so now I can, can accelerate, but it keeps getting set to zero and the character can no longer fall through the platform. Um, just one more thing we can do also, um, and that is, it, it, you know, this may or may not apply in your game, but if you ever have a situation where gravity is pulling your character, you know, the character's moving really fast and it's kind of related to the popping through platforms here, but um, there could be a situation where you have a layout where there's a very fall, far fall and you accelerate a lot, right? And maybe from one, because of your acceleration, from one iteration of the game loop to the next, the character might go from here and then his acceleration due to gravity wants to put him at this coordinate, right? And we don't detect the collision with the platform. And so <clears throat> what I wanna do is I'm gonna add another physics constant in here. <clears throat> and we'll go down to here and I'm gonna give it a terminal velocity. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say 24, but I, I'm just, again, I'm just making up a number here. Right, both of these numbers, please, you know, play with them until the game feels right to you. And in my apply gravity section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if self.vy is greater than the terminal velocity, then self.vy is equal to terminal velocity. And so what this is going to do is the fastest I can fall now is going to be um, in any frame is going to be 24 pixels. So uh, that's going to do two things. One, it would prevent me, you know, I picked I pick 24. One reason is just because these are 64. So I picked a number that was smaller than the height of a block of a platform. So there's no way that you could ever like teleport through. Um, and the other thing that you're going to see with the terminal velocity is you know, on far, if things start moving too fast, the game just becomes uh, difficult to play. So, um, you know, I think experimenting with these numbers not only, you know, can reduce some glitchiness and bugs in the game, it can also make the game more playable. So hope that makes sense. And um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and let me know. And otherwise, wait for the next video and we'll make our character jump.